What's up, everybody? Jason here for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. Jaspies 10 box out of the park baseball mixer. Random teams number four just sold out. And again, guys, this is uh, 10 boxes here featuring a couple of nice boxes there of Super Jumbo 2020. And then a mixture down there. And there's the photos there. So, of course, active players will go to the team they're currently on. Retired players will go to the team that they played for the longest, unless there's a specific team logo stamp or event stamp that indicates a specific year when it comes to the autographs. So, check it out there like that. And, of course, here's the dice roller. Here's the customer names and the teams. Let's roll. And let's start the break, guys. Here we go. Three and a five eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, hundred spot mixer? You mean like like a hundred box mixer for the night that Michael? Is that what you're trying to say? Three and a five, eight times, eight. Carl down to Carl. What's up, Gila? How you doing, man? Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, like like a hundred boxes. Yeah, we haven't done huge mixtures like that um, in a little bit. It is a little pricey. Sometimes those hundred box mixers are like, you know, two thousand, three thousand dollars a spot, which of course. We do have customers that will be interested in that, but sometimes it does phase out and price out some people, so there's been times where we kind of had a hard time filling it. But if we ever do big mixtures like that, it's usually when it's like a big event, like, you know, start of the NFL season, you know, playoffs, this, playoff, that. But lately we haven't done any crazy amount of uh, box mixers, but I'm sure we'll do some soon. It's only a matter of time, you know. It, it just could get a little pricey when it comes to that many boxes. That's kind of the problem. Alright, so there you go guys, eight times there, eight times here. So Carl with the Rangers as well as the Pirates, Mickey with the A's, Michael with the Braves, Ed with the Phillies, Eric with the Guardians, Marlins, Red Sox, Carl with the Yankees, Royals, Michael with the Twins, Simon with the Brewers, Ryan with the Diamondbacks, Carl with the Astros, White Sox, Rays, and Rockies, as well as the Orioles, Matt Johnson. <clears throat> Uh, Matt with the Tigers, Jason Parker with the Blue Jays, Justin with the Padres, Carl with the Mariners, <coughs> Cincinnati Reds, Eric, Mario with the Cardinals, Mike with the Mets, Giants, uh, Carl with the Angels as well as Cubs, John with the Nationals, Carl with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Yeah, we found, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Instead of putting a name, you, you bought into a spot like an R&B for the number. Yeah. Yeah. No, that we've done those in the past, but we haven't done them in a little bit. We've also had a lot of people out and about on vacation here. You know, I was gone for a little bit. Other people in the background, like Nick and them, have been gone for a little bit. So, I think that's what it is, too. But, we'll, we'll do some of those soon again, man. But, yeah. I, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. We did a Super Bowl mixer a few months back, and we did a, something similar like that. It was like fifteen hundred bucks or something like that a spot, two thousand a spot, and it was like thirty-two spots, obviously. And then we sold spots in a in an R&B style as well. But I believe the Super Bowl mixer was only like only like thirty boxes though. But even then, it was still really expensive. I did one a few years back. Um, actually, no. Our other one was actually a lot of boxes, actually. Wasn't it 127 boxes? Yeah. We did 127 boxes. That's what we did. That was a huge one, too.
Yeah, it was actually uh, uh, 127 boxes, 1600 a spot. But it was a, all hip parade, basically, though. That's basically what we did. It was 127, and it was all hip parade. Yeah. So, like I said, we do those. It's just randomly. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ended up... Yeah, so ended up, you ended up buying out the whole filler, and then you ended up getting a full spot, too. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I feel you, man. That, that was a cool one. Yeah, yeah. This was a hit recap. But, yeah, we'll do those again. It's just usually for big events like that. So, especially football. You know, we'll do football like that. We'll do, like, a World Series big mixer like that. You know, we'll do, like, NBA Finals mixer like that. It's mainly sometimes like that, honestly. All right. Let's just close the trade window, then. Alright guys, here we go. Alright, so we'll go with the really heavy base stuff. We'll start off with 2020 Bowman Hobby. Then we'll go to 2021 Bowman, 2021 Jumbo. And then we'll go to the Super Jumbo. And then... We'll get through the rest of the stuff pretty quick. But... Just kind of start with the heavy base stuff first. Interesting, James. No. Should not be. It says there's 19 left. So maybe when you try to purchase, James, it didn't let you, but no, it shows there's 19 left. Try it again, maybe? There was like a glitch, maybe? Yeah, it shows 19 in stock on my end. That, wait, are you talking? Oh, hold on, hold on. That's the hip parade one. The mixer. Hold on. No, oh, that one shows 22 in, spot, in, in, in stock too, James. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why that's showing that. But no, it says there's 22 available. Keep saying out of stock. I just went to my checkout process and it's allowing me to do it. Just add it to my cart. Just pretending I'm purchasing it here really quick. Just to show you. And it's showing it's allowing me to do that. I don't know if you want to give it another shot maybe. But you know there's like a little weird glitch or something. been doing it for a long time g -Lo. and honestly you know you do save time pack stacking and stuff like that especially on heavy base products
Alright, so yeah, this is last year's Bowman. So I don't remember, I gotta remember who the big first and stuff like that, but obviously this is that Julio rookie class with Bobby Witt and everybody else there. Vargas. First paper, C.J. Abrams. Davis Atomic. And Paguero Auto, 299. Man, this Knicks Miami game is so close, guys. Who do you think is gonna? Is Miami gonna close it out, or is this Knicks gonna force a game seven? Christian Ward, 250. Feels like it's been long, right? It's, just, it's because they've been giving a lot of days off in between G Lo. The first round was ridiculous, bro. Like, first round of hockey ended like a week earlier than the NBA because they were giving, like, dude, the Lakers were getting like three straight days off every other game. Like, legit. It was very, very biased. And it's all about TV time, man. They want the Lakers and Warriors in prime time, so they gave them extra days off so that way they don't mix and match with other games, you know? It's just bad, dude. Hunjin Ryu. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, there's a chance that there's going to be another Game 7 here and potentially in LA if, if, uh, if they win out in the next these two games here. But, I mean, for the NBA, they definitely want Game 7s. More money, man. would like to see the Nuggets versus the 76ers in the finals, though, no? Last couple MVPs there. Last couple MVPs there. Nah, well, baseball's not long, Gilo, because they literally play every day. That's why. And then there's only two rounds, really, if you think about it. One wild card, right? One game round, or best of two or three, whatever they do now, and then... But that's the difference, though, obviously. Baseball... They can play two, three games in a matter of three days. Basketball, they need a day off in between. Big three.
timeout mix. 72 seven, or 76-82. <laughs> I'm not sure, Mike. I haven't been... I, I've only seen a couple of these games just because I was... In, I was kind of out and about the last few days, but I was able to pay attention to yesterday's games just because I was flying back home. And Ed Howard, nice. I think this might actually be his first auto. No, no, actually, this is his second autograph. 69 out of 99, nice. Chicago Cubs, going to Carl. He's supposed to be a big prospect. That's a nice speckle there. Logan Gilbert. Um, well, Ed Howard is one of those weirder players that, like, well, yes, there is indication on some cards, so there's a first right there, right? That's a Bowman's first, but Ed Howard was one of those weird players where I think he was in Bowman in 2020, but he didn't have an auto in Bowman, but then his autograph was, like, in Bowman Chrome, but this is actually 2021, so this is actually, like, a second or third year. But yes, usually it's indicated by by uh, the first on it. So like this one, Jose Dena, if that was autographed, that would be a Bowman's first auto. To 150. Yeah. It's just, there's just some weird players where like, they get held out from like, let's say this product, like for some reason, this guy, let's just say as an example, he only has paper and color first, but then he'll his autograph will be in the next Bowman, in the next Bowman product. So it'll be like a Bowman Chrome later that year, or something like that. But for the most part, most people, if you're like if you're in this Bowman set, you're most likely to have an autograph. I think it's only a few people. Deshaun Knowles. No, Gila, I, I don't really like the Lakers, man. I'm a Thunder guy, remember? I like Seattle. But when they moved to OKC, I just, I just, uh, I just uh, traveled with OKC. So I kind of hope the Lakers lose today. Either way, though, if the Lakers were to match up against the Nuggets, the Nuggets are going to destroy it, man. <laughs> Anthony Davis is going to get just bullied and babied by Jokic. Yeah, his Bowman's first autos in 2020. And then Francisco Alvarez to 99. Yeah, for sure, man. SGA, baby. First team All-NBA. I do love LeBron, though, G-Lo, so I, I still always root for him. I've always rooted for LeBron. I've always liked him. That's... 
Best basketball player of all time. Goat. But, you know, if the Lakers win, oh, wow, I mean, it's not a big deal to me. Just when I was a kid, I, I liked the Lakers and Kobe and all that, but my sister was so annoying when I was younger about the Lakers and Kobe. Like, I just hated them. I started, I, I grew to hate them, basically. And I kind of like Ray Allen when he was on the, on the Sonics and stuff like that before he got traded, and then obviously they drafted Durant, Westbrook, and obviously they moved to OKC, so I just kind of stuck with them. It was only like two years, man. It's crazy if you think about it. They were good, man. With PG. The PG wanted to come back home, man. Want to come back home to LA? Join up with Kawhi? And it was the best thing, man, honestly. For the Thunder. They got so many draft picks for PG. They got SGA in that trade, which obviously helped a lot. And then they traded Westbrook after all, because obviously they kind of wanted to give Westbrook a chance to go win somewhere else, because Thunder were going to go through a full rebuild mode. They got even more draft picks for Westbrook, and been drafting really well. Casey Schmidt to 150. Blue way for the Giants first. Yeah, exactly. That, that's basically what it was for me. And now my, my sister didn't even like the Lakers no more because she was just a big diehard Kobe fan, obviously. Just loved Kobe. She loved Penny Hardaway before Kobe. But, uh, yeah, now, now she's like basketball, like... I don't like she likes basketball still, but she doesn't really watch it no more because Kobe doesn't play it, obviously. You know, passed away and stuff. But she'll just be like... When Kobe retired from basketball is when I retired. I'm like, whatever, dude. Owen Miller to 50. Nobody cares about baseball right now, Rex? Come on, man. Talking basketball right now, playoffs. No, I'm just joking. This is a baseball break. Correa is only batting 194. That's terrible. Um, I think I need sleeves. Do do do. Hey, uh, I checked case breaks. It's not on there, but there's only two hobby Bowmans left. Do you think I should? I can open one, or you think that? What are you talking about? Like for cases. Hobby Bowmans? Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't do hobby, or at least okay. not that cool. I know of. Cool. No, I checked the website. It's yeah, not, yeah, not. you're good. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure. For sure. Okay. Oh, well, I have been for the autos, Carl, but I mean, I can do it for everything if you want. No worries. We have for the Texas Rangers first, a little bit of 4 dollars paper. Let's go to Carl. It's all going to be you, though, Carl. <laughs> Just wants to hear it. There goes Carl. Carl again. Carl for three. Bang. Yeah. Jordan Walker, of course, now got called up this year. So I'd love to hit a Jordan Walker. Man. Stuff obviously has gone up a lot. Ooh, looks like we might have a Speckle Auto. Come on. Come on. Give me something nice. Give me something nice. 
No, not a speckle auto. For the Yankees, speckle though. That's Carl. And Owen. Casey? Oh, that's right. He did get sent back down, huh? Yeah. Padres. That is going to Justin. I seen Volpe hit a grand slam the other day, actually. Right? Did uh, Volpe get a hit a grand slam? Ryan Jensen to 250 paper. Cubbies. Zach Veen was a big first. Not sure if he still is on track. But he was pretty big. He's the first right here, Rex, right? There you go. It's a 499 Ed Howard. So you got an Ed Howard in the last one, Carl, and now you have an Ed Howard first here in draft. So I think you got the Ed Howard earlier right here. I did go to uh, this one place, guys, in, in San Juan, old San Juan, where they, the first place to invent the pina colada. How about that, huh? Anybody like pina coladas? I never really liked them, but I had to try it there. Brunson. Brunson ain't letting letting the mix down like that. Ooh, nice Zach Veen purple. And then we got a speckle auto. It's Carson Ragsdale to 71 first. That's Phillies. Phillies is Ed. And then the Zach Veen color match to 250 first is Carl with the Rockies. <laughs> I know, right, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you have to try there. They're great. I'm more of a margarita guy, honestly, if I'm going to get like a mixed drink like that. Besides like beer. And, yeah. Stuff like that. Drohan to four ninety nine Boston Eric. There you go. 
Alright, so this shouldn't have the auto here, it's just more base than anything. So we'll kind of skim through it. You know, my wife and my sister, everybody loves strawberry and stuff like that, but I'm just the normal margarita. Lemon. Tahin rim on it. A little chamoy. Dang. That's the way to go right there. And then Evan Carter for the Texas Rangers. Go to Carl. <sighs> Alrighty guys, well this box was pretty nice. Ed Howard there. Alright, so now that we're done with the big, like, heavy base stuff, now this is going to be pretty easy, quick breeze. So we'll go with a couple archives boxes here. We'll probably end off with, like, the Hit Parade in, in Tier 1. Hopefully a 101. Come on, give me a 101. No. Zach Gallon, though, to 99. Diamondbacks, what a Ryan. One. Boom! No. 81. Another one for the Diamondbacks. Seth Beer this time. Back-to-back -back hits, though, for Ryan. All right, let's just skip to the baseball. Those three boxes took me, like, 30 minutes, so... <laughs> I'll skim through this. Whitey Ford. Oh, yeah. Well, Whitey Ford. I don't know if he played for multiple teams, but... Let's see. I just remember him being like a Yankee, honestly, but... Let's see. Actually, no. Played every single year with the Yankees. From age 21 all the way down to 38. Played 16 years for the uh, for the Yankees. Alright. So, Yankees with that one. Carl. Getting a little whitey. Alright. Let's do Tier 1. We'll go 2020, and then we'll go 2021, and then we'll end off with Hit Parade. That was a big miss three right there. This is where the... You can capitalize right here. Don't try to shoot a three. Just get points. You just need points. Oh, my God. Brunson just shot a three. and they, Oh, they got the rebound, though. No. Did he get fouled? All right. Tino Martinez to two, uh, 200. Yankees, that is uh, Carl. Got a relic there, Brandon Woodruff, to 395. And then we got a Zach Passat to 299 for Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you, Eric. There you go, Eric. Oh my God, what a horrible free throw! But he made it. Alright, here we go, guys. Seems like a very, very thin pack. Reggie Jackson, though. And then we got a Wilson Contreras. Chicago Cubs going to Carl. And Reggie Jackson, that's another one there for Carl as well. 250.
And then we have a Shane McCallahan to 25. Alrighty, folks, here we go. Last two boxes here. So this is Baseball Hit Parade Series 7 Limited Edition. Obviously, it could be anything here. Here we go. And we got a Fernando Tatis Jr. going to Justin and the Padres. 5 out of 10. And that's from Tier 1 as well, actually. This is 2022, though. Nice jumbo patch there. That was like a case hit. More tier one. And last hit of the mixer, guys. Good luck. And Juan Soto. 40 out of 50 from 5 Star. That's Washington Nationals edition. Juan Soto going to Jonathan B. Alrighty, folks, and there you go, guys. So, again, obviously, you know, a lot of Bowman in there, but still got some nice hits here towards the end with the other products. And then here's all the Bowman stuff here. A couple nice Ed Howards there. Appreciate it, folks. This was uh, the mixer here, jazbeescasebreaks.com.